It was an evening to celebrate our Barbados Under-15 champions when the BCA held a reception in the honor of the successful squad which defended its title recently at the just-concluded regional youth tournament. Parents, family and friends, along with the management staff of the team, were all on hand for the event. And the president of the Barbados Cricket Association, Conde Riley, was one of the speakers on the evening. And along with heaping praise on the successful teenagers, he encouraged them to stick to cricket, as the sport can take them very far. So we, we are providing a, an entire pathway for cricketers with academic leaning, or if you just want to be a professional cricketer, it is a worthwhile um, and over the last few years, very lucrative career. So work hard, listen to your coaches, train hard, eat well, rest well, listen to your parents and your coaches. Okay, congratulations once again. The manager, Jason Haynes, who also thanked the BCA for the opportunity, said that the team stuck together through thick and thin. It was really a team effort, I must say. Each individual on this team contributed to this success. At any given point in time, I thought, I thought you know, someone always stepped up. I must commend him for that. Captain Nimar Bolden was also high in praise for his players. Mm, just want to say congratulations to the team again. Um, thank you for all of the support, support from everyone. Um, the management staff and the coaches, they um, did a good job. Um, everyone for helping me personally, thank you. And congrats again to the team. Here's wishing them even more success and a three-peat at next year's tournament. Well, last week, he wrote from uh, Deepak Huda and tail ender Billy Stanley helped the Sunrisers hide a to a one-wicket win against Kyron Pollard and the Mumbai Indians in today's Indian Premier League match. Saint Intabat, Mumbai were restricted to 147 for eight in 20 overs. Evan Lewis top scored with 29, while Pollard and Yadav made a 28 apiece. Now, three bowlers took two wickets apiece, including Sandeep Sharma with two for 25. Now, in reply, Shakir Dewan led the batting for Sunrisers with 45, but it was an unbroken knock of 32 from 25 balls, from, from 25, that is, from Huda, and five from Stanley that helped them to get across the line as they finished on 151 for nine in their 20. Back to football, United Stars Alliance moved into the finals of the Scotiabank Under-15 Youth Cup after their 3-2 win over Silver Sands FC in the recent semi-finals at Blenheim. We pick up the action in the second half with United Stars already leading two goals to one. This is the second half of this Under-15 semi-final featuring Silver Sands FC in the green against All-Stars Alliance with Alliance already leading 2-1 after the first half. But Silver Sands will tie it up. Malik Jones breaking free and beating the keeper with ease. A corner kick floats in and tipped away by the keeper. Here's a free kick from Alliance, but he can't get past the head of this defender. Another attempt from our corner this time. It's blocked, but not clear to safety. More trouble, close to the bars. But that's averted. Can they get another goal here? Not with this guy in the way. Another free kick dribbled along the ground. And Kabali Gill was just around the corner to top it to safety. Giving Alliance the three to win over Silver Sands. So here's what's happening tomorrow, April 13th. Barbadians Shane Brathwick, Nicholas Deshaw, Burkhardt Ellis Jr., Ramon Giddings and Stephen Headley are listed to compete in heat number two of the men's 4x1 meter relay event. And in the Indian Premier League, Chris Gale and the Kings 11 Punjab will class with his former team, the Royal Challengers Bangalore. That's at 10.30 a.m. Barbados time. Well, that's sports for the Thursday edition. I'm Sean Green. Have a good night.